All right guys, so today we're gonna to be discussing how to deal with slow motion proxy files. And basically this is solving the issue of working with slow motion footage and having your proxy files skip or start at different points or even like freeze on certain frames. I didn't know how to do it at first, but we're good now. We're gonna be going into Media Encoder to basically interpret the proxies to match our footage. I hope this helps, let's get into it. Hope you all are having a great day and after this tutorial, your day should be better because this is one of the most frustrating things about Premiere. First and foremost, you're gonna import your footage. Um, that's a given. Once you have your footage imported, what you're gonna do is you're gonna select all your clips, then you're gonna right click and hit modify, interpret footage. So interpreting footage, what it basically does is it um, interprets it to slow motion. So rather than slowing it down to 50% or whatever the case may be, it interprets it to the frame rate of your project and your sequence, and it just puts it in slow motion. So I always work with slow motion like this, um, and I'm assuming you do too if you're having this issue. But anyways, moving along, once we do this, we're gonna select our desired frame rate. So once we do that, all our footage is now in slow motion, and we are gonna create our proxies. So select all the clips, right click, go to proxy, and then create proxies. Now this is gonna open up Adobe Media Encoder. All these files are gonna to start to load in. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wait up here right by the stop icon, and you're gonna wait until all your files load in and it becomes clickable. Now there's a progress bar that stays within Premiere Pro, so keep that open if you wanna see how long you have. That way you don't have to wait, you know, kind of like unsure of when it's gonna pop. But um, this took about 10 minutes for me because I have a bunch of large files. So when it got close, I got ready to hit it, and as soon as it became clickable, I hit it. So if you did it right, what it will do is it will stop on the first clip. I forgot to clear this out, so this is actually from an old video, so I just deleted it. But um, normally what you'll do then is you'll right click and you'll basically restore or reset it. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna select all your proxy clips. So click, go to the bottom, shift, click, same way you select all the clips in Premiere Pro. You're gonna right click and then you're gonna press interpret footage once again and match the sequence settings and what you interpret it to in Premiere. So 23.976 for me. And then now we can press the play button and all our proxies will be created. So this is the workaround to having proxies that are kept in normal speed. Um, like I said before, it really affects playback. So if you're experiencing this issue, here's your fix. If you found this video helpful, please leave it a like, it really helps out the channel and uh, consider subscribing. Hope you're all doing well and uh, yeah, stay creative. Thank you.